The candidates' chess tournament in Toronto became embroiled in controversy when French Grandmaster Elireza Firoza claimed that an arbiter's request to change suits distracted him during his Round 9 match against Ian Nipomnici. Following the match, Firoza took to X to express his frustration, stating that the chief arbiter approached him during the game due to his shoes making noise on the wooden floor. Despite wearing the same shoes for over a year, the arbiter requested Firoza to bring new shoes for the next day, causing a significant distraction that affected his focus. However, Chief Arbiter Aye Aris Margitis countered Firoza's claims, explaining in an interview with Chess.com that fellow player Nizad Avasov had initially complained about the noise from Firoza's shoes. Margitis suggested that Firoza alter his walking style or wear different shoes to minimize the disturbance. Margitis clarified that no disciplinary action was threatened, and Firoza's softer walking after their exchange indicated a resolution to the issue. The conversation occurred during the middle of the match with Firoza not under time pressure. Thanks guys, we are here with Chief Arbiter Ares Margetis after the tweet from Ali Reza Firuja. Everyone wants to know what exactly happened in the tournament hall today for round 9. Uh, thanks, Mike. So, about just over an hour into the into the round, um, like we have a bit of an old building here, and so the, the floors are a bit creaky. Uh, the players are used to that. When most players walk around during the tournament, uh, you don't hear them walking; you hear the creak. However, there was a certain point after you know after about 60 minutes in, when uh, Mr. Fruja was in the refreshment area, walking in a very limited space, like pacing, and. Players do that all the time. That's like a, that's fine. But um, he had a very heavy footfall. You could, you could hear. It sounded like boots. You know, like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't creaking. It was. I mean, I don't know what word to use. Uh, it, it was stompish, if you will. And so I was beginning to get a little bit concerned. I thought, well, this is, this is too much noise. I'm wondering if this is disturbing anyone. And as I was reaching the conclusion that this is getting too loud, uh, one of the players, the other players, actually officially complained to me. And it was, uh, it was a player who was the closest to where that was. And so when the player told me, I mean, as the chief arbiter, I have a few responsibilities. One of them is to protect all of the players, the tournament, the integrity of the game. And so I had to kind of make a decision here. Well, is he disturbing more than I would disturb him, let's say. So what I did at that point is I went to the refreshment area and I didn't want to intrude on Mr. Fruja's space. So I kind of kept a certain distance and waited for him to kind of make eye contact with me. He did. They waited a little bit longer, and it seemed to be a, a welcoming, yeah, what do you want, Chief Arbiter? So I went up to him and I said, there's, there's been a complaint about, about the noise you're making walking in this little area here. Um, so I, a couple of suggestions, you know, maybe you could spread your walking area. I don't know if that resonated, I don't know if that clicked the way I said it, because we're whispering to each other. I said, you could spread your walking area, and I said, maybe tomorrow if you have some softer shoes, you could, you know, consider trying those. So I didn't, that's all I did, I made two suggestions. I didn't in any way give an ultimatum, I didn't in any way threaten any kind of uh, discipline or anything like that. The two suggestions, I find that's the, that's like a great way to deal with people is you, you know, give them ideas and together we'll work at, work at a, a compromise. Um, so I, I think at that point in the game, I think that, you know, it just kind of fluke. He was in that small area pacing and it, it bothered the player. But to be clear, he was not in time pressure. It was one hour into the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. The incident recalls a similar controversy at the 2023 Fight World Rapid Chess Championships, where Anamaza Kazarian was asked to change out her Burberry sneakers due to arbiter intervention. Such incidents highlight that the fine line between maintaining tournament decorum and respecting players' comfort and concentration.